This video is to demonstrate some uses of Magdro's miter slot base. Assemble your calipers per the illustration. Unscrew the thumb screw, slide the calipers in, and tighten the thumb screw. It's held on both sides of the channel. The most intuitive use is to align the table saw fence. Simply extend the depth probe, set the zero, retract the depth probe, slide the unit to the other side, and check the fence alignment. To check blade alignment, first unplug your table saw. Assemble the calipers in the miter slot base with the calipers in the direction of the illustration and place in your miter slot. Raise the blade just shy of full height. This miter slot requires a spacer because of the distance away from the blade. Mark the blade Extend the depth probe, set the zero on your calipers. Retract the depth probe, rotate the blade so that the mark is on the other side. Slide the unit down and check your blade alignment. If you would prefer not to use a spacer, you can see if the other miter slot is closer and follow the same procedure by marking the blade, setting the zero, rotating the blade, sliding the unit to the other side, and checking your blade alignment. Blade runout can also be checked. by setting the zero, incrementally rotating the blade to check the blade runout. The first step in cutting an accurate width is to cut the board a little wider than needed so you know what the fence is set to. Then measure the board with your calipers. Attach your calipers to the miter slot base and in this case because of the distance we'll use a spacer block so that the depth probe can reach the spacer block. Set your calipers to zero and adjust your fence the correct amount. You can also do this by screwing the miter slot base on a board and clamping the board to your table saw. And it's that easy to cut an accurate width board. You can use the miter slot base for making an accurate cut depth. In this example, we first make a cut a little shy of the final depth and measure the depth of the cut. Then we put the calipers in our homemade depth gauge. Plans are available on the website. Put the depth probe over one of the blade teeth and set the zero. As you raise the blade, watch the digital readout. and raise it up the correct amount. And that 
that's how easy it is to make an accurate cut depth. This part is to show that even the most basic of router tables can have digital readout. First is to make a cut to know what the router table fence is set to and measure it with your depth probe. Then with the miter slot base screwed onto the router table, attach your calipers and attach a spring just slightly stronger than the friction in your calipers. Now after setting the zero you can move the fence back and forth and watch the digital readout on your calipers until you find the correct dimension and tighten up your fence. Remove the calipers from the miter slot base And now the depth of cut is the correct depth. And it's that easy to have digital readout on your router table. This is to demonstrate a simple an effective inspection jig that is inexpensive and quick to put together. If you have need to inspect multiple parts, perhaps Magdro's miter slot base can help. Thank you for watching this video.